working on a huge bird. I don't have a whole lot of pointers on this one because I haven't done this in a long time. So it'll be kind of as we go through. You gotta have four. It takes four full basically rounds. this cut in half. One side is each wing, just like the small bird. Okay, you split it into four and do the thing. Okay. Remember in the beginning when I yeah. taught you that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so. I have to remember, I think it goes like so. Over, under, over. Over, under, over. So this thing. Okay. So that one goes over and under, just like the other bird. This one will go. Um, this one will go under over because the other one went over under, so it has to be different. Remember, we talked about that too. Because it's the other wing, right? Yeah, that's how they'll weave together. Okay. Because one goes over under, one goes the other way. So that's what's messing me up. This one's cool. Okay. <laughs> something like this plus something like this goes something like that. Remember? Yep. given the good technique here but that's when it gets something like that this is the wings and the top of the back right yeah flip it over like so this is where we'll do the belly um, these two should probably be going the same way and they're not so I'm gonna flip this one so it's the same These ones got to come through here, and those ones got to come up through there like so, right? Through here. So okay. This one goes under, so it'll go over that one and under this one. This one skips the process and goes under both of them. It goes over, under, under. Same with this one. And this one goes through here. Under, so it'll go over the next one, out the middle. These ones both go under, under, under. And kind of tighten them up one at a time. all coming out real nice and flat like that and you can take as long as you want to just like pull this because it comes around and actually cinches this see how this looks goofy mm -hmm. I'll tighten that from over here this one so I'll put my finger back here and kind of bend that and stick at the same time I pull back here 
Wow. And that helps you <clears throat> cinch its body for so it actually looks well made. Okay. See how he's crooked? So I can pull this one, tighten the body up even on the wings a little bit. I'm kind of perfectionist, but I'm going really fast on this. But. So it, it is what it is, you know? But like as far as difficulty goes, this one is just as hard as a little bird, but you can charge like 10 times as much for it. Right. Yeah, I was selling those other little birds for a dollar back in the day. Seem easy to come for a lot more than a pound. See, this one's way loose. I'm gonna pull, tighten that thing up. This one. The next one. I just kind of keep going back and forth because they'll all end up locking each other in until I decide it's good enough. And it is goofy. This one's goofy, I like it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I got this weird goofy bird. We're gonna call it cool because we're gonna just say it's goofy. And then it's gonna be the male bird of paradise. So this first two knots, like we said before, go down around the chin, <clears throat> around the back. And that gives you your two outer leaves that become the beak. Then these ones are going to become the headdress. So instead of going around the chin, they're going to kind of go around the back of his head and then up around the chin and watch how the direction changes. So it goes straight up like his headdress should be. This one will do the same thing around this way. And you get your big old bird. So, kind of fun to just leave those like that. And then, and then does it fly? Sweet. <laughs> Throw it at me. All of a sudden, you're sitting at the beach. Thank you. <laughs>